Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka The Workman's Pomp, aka Bram Stoker's Dracula Poofy Hair. Still rocking it, I don't even care. Uh, anyways, today I'm going to be doing a follow-up to the Goon Grease water base. Um, and that is, of course, the Lockhart's Unorthodox or the Goon Greased Unorthodox water base. You can see it says Goon Grease on the side. I've been calling it Drop Dead Red. You guys can call it whatever you want. Now, if you're new to pomade or, you know, been around the block a couple of times, I'm pretty sure you've probably heard of Lockhart's Authentic, and I'm pretty sure you've heard of Goon Grease. Goon Grease is a wildly popular oil base, and there was the water base uh, rendition uh, released. And actually, on the same day that the red is getting released, they're going to be doing the texture tonic as well. So uh, they're actually expanding the Goon Grease um, cinematic universe, so to speak. Um, Speaking of the cinematic universe real quick, some people, maybe not a lot, might be asking what's going on with Uncle Chauncey. Um, if you don't know who Uncle Chauncey is, he is the unofficial goon grease uh, for president campaign manager. Uh, Lockhart's were even nice enough to put him in their anniversary on their Instagram, which I thought was pretty cool for him. But anyways, he kind of fell off the wagon and kind of disappeared, got into some weird crap during the last election. He does text me every once in a while, and uh, this is what he sent me, if you're interested on knowing what he's up to. Uh, so, enjoy, I guess. Hey, is this, is this where they make that Lockhart's bullcrap at? Um, we don't need to film it. No, listen, I, I'm, I'm trying to get my job back. How do I talk to Steve and Nicole Lockhart? Well, not by talking like that. I did some time upstate for Steve and Nicole. I really need to talk to them. I'm trying to get my job get back. Him. Go get them. No, go get them. You're not listening to me, jackass. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to talk to Steve and Nicole. I did some time upstate. They did him a favor. They didn't follow protocol, okay? You know You're, what protocol is? I thought it was I pat their back, they pat mine, but now I'm out here talking to a dumbass rent-a-cop. I'm going to have to fold them in half and throw them on top of a damn bill. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the gist of it. I mean, what I'm trying to tell you is I'm trying to get in freaking touch. Like, what's your name, asshole? What's yours? Uncle Chauncey. I'm the goon grease for president campaign manager. Right. You want to see my ID no, or something? I see your ID. You at least like pomade? Why would you want to know? I know a thing or two about pomade, that's why. Oh yeah, I can tell. It's clear that I'm not getting anywhere with you. We have our differences. <coughs> that's fine. I'm just gonna go my happy way. Okay, Steve, Nicole, let me in, let me in. Yeah, so anyways, let's just get right into the product. Um, first and foremost, uh, this is like what you would expect out of the Goon Grease like line. You know, it's got that kind of like rockabilly look, um, that style that you've seen in the pomade community, which I think goes really well um, for the whole Goon Grease in general. It's got the water base, unorthodox, blah, blah, blah. Picture again, and then on the side, the Goon Grease unorthodox water base. And then of course, which is now standard for the Lockhart's authentic products. It has the type of hold that you're getting and what you can expect out of the product. And then the ingredients in the directions. So the firm, so the hold on this is four out of five, volumes four out of five, the textures two out of five, and the shine is three and a half out of five. Now, if anyone is interested, I do have the Goon Grease water base here, and the hold is the same. The volume is a half better on this, the texture is the same, and the shine is a step down on this. So the shine on this is four out of five, three and a half. I only wanted to do a quick comparison because I know some people had complained that the water-based, the actual gel type water-based on orthodox, or the gel type, sorry, the orthodox, um, was a little bit lighter in the endurance and the hold. So in comparison to this, I kind of wanted to make just a, a brief comparison and say the sides say, pretty similar, but I'm going to get into how I feel about it. Popping it open, the scent on this is like a classic cologne scent. It definitely smells like a salon scent, but I wouldn't say it's one of those things that like, it's like a gross chemically scent. It smells good. It's what you've expect. I mean, if you've been around the whole Lockhart's scene for a long time, you know, they do their own scents. They do any, you know, choose your scent, choose your whatever um, hold. And um, they have like a huge array of scents. So honestly, 
it's just a nice cologne scent. Nothing too extreme, nothing to go right home to mom about, like, this is the best thing I've ever smelled, but doesn't break the mold, but it is, you know, it's nice for what it is. I don't really have any complaints. So looking at the product itself, it's a water base, um, unorthodox. I left the top layer as I usually do so that you can see what the first scoop is like. So you can see pressure. I'm putting lots of pressure on the first scoop take some to break the top layer. So I wanna to say to people who are used to getting those buttery scoops, you're gonna to have to break the top layer, but then easy once you get through the top layer. So just wanted to put that out there because there's a lot of people that like scoop it and it's not like lotion and then they lose their mind. So um, quarter size, a little bit bigger. It looks, you know, top layer, quarter size. Breaking it down, a couple rubbies gone just like that so easy to break down application on this putting it in i have towel dried hair right now it's not damp but it's definitely not dry application on this some hairs like some some hairs will get pulled out if you're doing what i'm doing which is just ranking my hair back but honestly um i would say pretty standard especially for a firm type product putting in another scoop uh so for me application isn't like yanking my hair out i don't feel like it's beyond any sort of normal crazy application you know what i mean like uh again much like the scent the application it's not out of the norm out of a, a firm product like this okay just looking it back easy it glides one thing i like about this stuff is once you get it in your hair it feels very similar to um what i would consider what i would think of goon grease unorthodox would feel like now you might be saying i've never used goon grease what is goon grease like goon grease is a slick yet firm holding product glides through the hair but has some resistance leaves some shine definitely some shine and is easy to apply and easy to style with. That's what this feels like. Once you get it in your hair, it feels thick. Um, there's some resistance combing through, but not enough to make it feel like the oil base. Nice glide. Um, and overall, just feels good in the hair. It's one of those products that I always talk about where I'll say that I prefer a product that you can feel like there's something in your hair, but not so much that it's weighting it down and like just too super greasy and too over the top. That's how this feels to me. Now, typically, as you can see, I got the uh, little floofies going. Typically for me, what I would do is leave the sides tucked like how they were, kind of do something like this, and then just comb it back with my hands. Call it good. That's what I would do for the day. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> my hair is getting long. So, you know, for me, it's not too much of a crazy, like, I don't need like a bunch of like, I don't need to do the pompadours or whatever. I'm kind of just going with the slick back right now. So for me, this is how I would style my hair. This is how it'll pretty much stay the whole day. You might need to do some restyles if it's really hot outside. But typically I would just kind of slick it back, leave a little bit of a pop in the front and just let it do whatever it wants. However, we are doing the review, so I'm gonna style a pump with this and show you what it looks like. <clears throat> but just for anybody that's doing the long hair thing like me, I wanted to show you. So I'm gonna try and find my part real quick. Ever since my hair has gotten long, I've been able to find a part, not essentially my part, but we're gonna just go crazy with it. So styling it with a comb too, super easy. This is one of those products you get it in. You're gonna wanna give it some time to firm up. It stays slick. And that's one of the characteristics of Goon Grease that you know I really like about the original Goon Grease is that it stays slick. This will stay slick. And you know what, I'm not gonna even use the pick. I'm just gonna use the comb here. Just pop myself up a round boy in the front. I just call it good. So just like that, styling done, easy breezy. I got some long hair going 
And because of that, with a heavier product that I would say that this is a little bit heavier, it and I haven't cut it right, some of the stuff will fall over, it'll weigh my hair down. That's not on the product, that is on the way that, because I'm just letting my hair grow out, you would want to get your hair cut for a style like this, but I could rock this pomp for the majority of the day. Um, so what are my overall thoughts? Oh, and to get right into it, I'll just tell you this, one washout. It washes out quick and easy, really no issue with it at all. Um, so the hold, four out of five, is this a firm hold? Does this last? Yes, I think this is a firm hold. Um, it'll last in your hair for the majority of the day. The endurance does taper off towards the end of the day. I'm just gonna tell you that. You can put in more than two scoops and it'll last the whole day. I do about two for my hair and this will last. I think the endurance is right where it should be for a firm. I think it'll hold for a good amount of time. I definitely think, like I said, my only critique is that it the endurance doesn't last in super heat for a long, long time. This isn't a, um, although there is some waxy stuff in it, beeswax, it definitely feels slicker, shinier. It retains a lot of those things, those feelings, those uh, characteristics that you would get from the normal goon grease, the oil-based goon grease. It has that shine when you look at it. It has that endurance that you would expect, although it does taper off. It has that style ability. It has that slick ability, and it's easy to restyle. Also, uh, the one really good thing that this has over the traditional goon grease oil-based is that this takes one wash to wash out. And that was just with normal shampoo for me. So one wash and then it's like, boom, it's done. So overall, what do I think? Uh, is this worthy of the goon grease name? Is this like, would the goons uh, welcome this with open arms? I think this is worthy of the goon grease name. I think this is good. Only critique of it is the same critique I had of the orthodox water base is that the, I, the endurance isn't where I feel like it should be, but to get everything you get out of this, easy wash, slick ability, restyle ability, um, and good hold for a water base, I think that this definitely knocks it out of the park. I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of five. I think this is an excellent unorthodox pomade and an excellent addition to the Goon Grease line. If you guys have tried this or are looking forward to trying this, leave it in the comments section below. Let me know what you guys think and have a good one.